Hey there, everybody. It is I, Nin Yoi. I am here to talk about Rivals of Ether 2. The pure abomination that is that game. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Before I start losing my stack, all right, before I start getting mad and losing my temper, let me actually go over the parts of the game I like. Because it wouldn't be fair for me to just rag on every aspect of the game. That's not true. The game does have some good stuff about it. So let's just go over those real quick before I start losing my fucking marbles, if you will. Okay. First and foremost, the game has fast-paced gameplay, which I like. I like when the you know I like when the matches end fast. You know, throwing hands at all points of the time is good. Me likey that, right? Coming from a game like Smash Ultimate, where like the normal way of playing that game is to camp your fucking Schmied off, right? That is, it's just truly beautiful to see that it's actual fast paced gameplay. So I can't be mad about that. Number two, right? Parry. Oh, Jesus. Parry reflect on projectiles with iframes. frames. That you get after you parry the projectile, causing your opponent to sporadically do something. Because they can't just stand there because their opponent's immune to damage. I think that was a nice touch. Getting iframes from parrying a projectile as well as having the projectile fly back at your opponent is peak. I truly, I truly hope Smash Ultimate does something. I mean, not Smash Ultimate. Well, next Smash game does something even remotely like that because that is fire i like that it stopped people from camping the whole fucking time which is good you're not just gonna mash projectiles and think i won't fucking parry it idiot good job okay accurate parry punishes that's number three i put that on the board for some fucking reason oh i know the fucking reason it's because anytime you break a shield it does exactly what you think it's gonna do break the shield they bounce in the air for a little while and as soon as they land they're able to act that, that window is self-exclamatory as fuck, right? It's self-exclamatory as hell. Because when you get your shield broken, I got that entire fucking something odd frame window to punish your fucking ass for doing dumb shit, okay? That's good. It's very good. Very good. Now I get to punish you for being an absolute fucking chode. Because you want to hold shield too much. All because they gave you the option to shield don't mean you should just hold the fucking thing, dumbass. You really need to, like, not do that, you know? Not fucking do that. Okay, parry out of shield. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so good. Most of these most of these points will be parry because parry actually does help a lot of the game itself. Parry out of shield is good because, like I said, with a lot of fast play gameplay, you have a whole bunch of matches people matching on your shield just for the fucks all right but the good thing is about that is that when they hit your shield once you know they're gonna throw out another hitbox you know it's the randos the clarins the 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 not crack uh, who is it the dog the damn dog i hate zetter all them you know they're all gonna throw out hitboxes after always they're always gonna do that but if you shield the first hit you can parry the second hit if they're just mashing outright, if you time it anyway, because that's another thing I like. If you throw out a parry, you're definitely getting punished for it. Oh yeah, you can parry. You can punish for a parry if you miss. And I love that because parry's good, but spamming it is a bad thing. You can't just be spamming the fucking shit. You gotta throw it up when you know something's gonna come at you. Like don't match parry. Matching parry is bad, boys and girls. Matching parry is bad. Okay, what is this? Uh, huh, on the bulletin board, I said parrying recoveries takes. I oh yeah, parrying recoveries take iframe from ledge, which is good. I think that shit is fire. If you go back to ledge, you are not safe. You're not safe at all. This shit's fucking fire, actually, because if you get parried off your recovery, it's a kind of eh. You deserve it. Keep in mind, I play locked or not. So, I get parried on recovery easy, but then again, I have an air dodge and a wall jump. Better learn to use it correctly, correct? Okay, uh, what 
question next. Special get up on ground or ledge. Oh yeah, it's the, the special get up option. To go with the normal get ups, you also have special get up options. I think that is sick because not only do they change the range of your get up, they also have special properties to go along with it. For instance, with Loxodon, I can either do a normal get up, which is just he gets off swing the axe. It has a decent amount of range, but not a shit ton. But or I can do special get up that slides uh that slides across stage when used. But it's also a good thing that after a certain amount of uh after a certain amount of frames, the special get up loses its iframes. Which is good. I believe a special uh, like a get up that strong deserves to have some cons to it. So you did a real good job with that one, motherfuckers who made this game. Alright. Okay, what what is this? Oh, the art choice. Uh, the the art choices. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the fact that there's a lot of colors and costumes in this fucking game that you can actually do. You got a lot of customer. Uh, I mean, oh shit, not custom service. What the hell? You got a lot of character custom customization. I like that shit. Alternate skins, alternate colors. They're pretty fucking abundant right now. I think Lockton himself has like what eight alts. Already in game, I think six, five, one of them. But either way, more than four different costumes is fucking fire. It's honestly sick. Okay. Oh, you also have an abundance of customizable uh, profile options. You, you got your, you got your stuff for your furries, you know. You got your stuff for your regular schmo, Joe schmo motherfuckers like me, okay. And you got your stuff for your LGBTs, all right. The ABCs, them motherfuckers, all right. But everybody is able to come and customize their profile, at least a little bit how they want to. I like that shit. Good job on you guys. You did great. You did fucking phenomenal. Okay, the next one. Server choice. Oh, server choice is fire. Oh, y'all did great on that. You really did. That is some phenomenal shit you did on server choice. Because being able to choose what server you get matched up with instead of doing like Smash Ultimate does where it doesn't tell you where you're going, you just end up there and you're at the mercy of the Wi-Fi of the fucking idiot that you're fighting. Pretty fucking great. That's great as shit. A little taller when you get matched up in a spot that you don't want to go to when you try to have a bit of a wide range. But then again, that's just a nitpick. Just don't pick that spot again, idiot. Like, hello? Ah, uh, let's see here. Mmm. Oh, last thing I truly like about this is that it's hard to rank up. You truly got to earn that. The amount of times, uh, the amount of time that I be trying to go, uh, I thought platinum was a hype. And I was like, oh yeah, I made platinum. No, oh, you go to Diamond. Then you go to something else behind Diamond. I don't know what the fuck you go to at that point, but it's... It, hey, listen, if you want it, you gotta earn it. Which is good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. And now I'm finna get off in that ass. Because now, now, sweetheart, we're going to the cons. Oh, oh. And y'all have pissed me off royally. I never have fucking fun when I get on this goddamn game. With this retarded ass shit you call a fucking good game. You know, the melee players are just eating this shit up, you know? The furries, the LGBTs, the melee players, their stupid fucking asses. Listen, now I get to roast this fucking game and I'm gonna enjoy it. Alright? First thing I don't like is that it's a complete and utter fucking ripoff of melee. All the bullshit included. Bullet number one that I put on cons, because I was blowed while writing this, was that, for some odd fucking reason, you constantly get your iframes back on ledge, which makes that shit super annoying to deal with. In Smash Ultimate, if somebody regraps, they deserve to die afterwards. You deserve to get fucked up for that. You're not supposed to be regrabbing like that, because if you regrab, that means you gave up stage control, and you're supposed to get fucked for giving up stage control. But no, apparently on this guy's second game, you can hop on ledge and shit and fucking throw fares, like straight out of, uh, straight after hopping off ledge, and you're completely and utterly safe. Completely and utterly safe. Not, not like I'll get anything off of it. Oh, what's that? I can parry you? Don't matter. You still got iframes for some fucking reason. Great, fucking fantastic. Oh, the next thing I don't like 
It's the fact that, again, you rip ledge hogging for melee. Ledge hogging, ledge hogging was one of the worst fucking mechanics in Smash history. And you fucking bastards decided that you were going to implement that into your $40 game. Listen, that was a bad fucking move. That move was shit. I think the game is $40 and win, anyway, but that's beside the point. What the fuck were you thinking? Why did you actually think that was a good fucking thing to do? And, and I can hear the melee player now. It, it, it boosts, it, it, it boosts some, uh, some sort of shit on ledge. I, I don't fucking know. I don't care. But I know melee players are going to say some stupid shit to try to justify that fucking uh, dog shit ass mechanic. Go ahead. Tell me why you deserve to get ledge, uh, you deserve to get iframes back. From constantly regrabbing leg. Go ahead, tell me why your opponent, even if he's beating you completely in neutral, decides to die if you're holding ledge and he's not. Go ahead, try to explain that shit to me. Do it down in the comments. Go ahead. Oh shit. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, drop my control. Oh shit. Oh, drop my control. Oh Jesus. But who gives a fuck? I ain't playing nothing anyway. Um. Um. What else? Oh yeah, yeah. The the egregious fucking hit stun. I don't know what forced you dumbasses to think that having hit stun like that, having hit stuns that so racially motivated is crazy, that if you get hit by little shit, you still get stunned egregiously. And there are some characters in the game that 100% kill you off that retarded ass stun. Easily. Rano and Zetter definitely will. But. Don't even get me started on the fact that most of the moves in this game have set fucking knockback for some odd reason. Like that stupid ass shit. I don't know what possessed y'all to actually think this game deserves for a lot of moves to have set knockback. No, bitch. That just that just makes it where people get these fake ass, these fake looking ass combos anyway. That aren't really shit. They just like. With the set not bad, you don't go nowhere after you're hit, so they can just mash more moves at you. So, every character in this game feels like fucking Luigi or Kazuya Mishima, which are bad, by the way. I hate that shit. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only fucking one, alright? Don't know what the fuck y'all were thinking on that shit. Really don't. Another thing. Why the fuck is crouch canceling that strong? I've seen I've seen moves get crouch canceled at 150, which is in fucking insane to me. Why would y'all do that? What? What's? Who? Who's on your marketing team? Because bro needs to be fired, bro. There is no. Way you can tell me that you found some way to justify a move getting crouch canceled at one fucking fifty? I ain't really how to deal with it, cause like I said, I've lost it on. If I hit you with a smash attack, chances are the shit in the plume of fire afterward is gonna kill your ass. But there are other characters that rely on multi hits and shit to kill, like Forest Burn. I seen my buddy, like I seen a good friend of mine, really struggle with killing with Forest Burn's cape bullshit. Because motherfuckers can just, you know, crash cancel the fucking cave and block the move afterward, then he dies. Great fucking game design, by the way. You fuckers should really be proud of yourself. Um. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, the stupid ass melee air dodge. Listen, I know, oh my god, but we needed that air dodge. That's how we, that's how we get our, get our uh, wave dash. You like wave dashing, don't you? Wave dashing is cool in theory. But that stupid ass air dodge. I should not get punished for air dodging immediately. Mid-air. My opponent should not just see me air dodge and stand in one fucking spot. My opponent should not be able to see me air dodge and stand in one fucking spot and then punish me. They should be able, they should have to DI somewhere. Or it should at least be a 50-50 on where the air dodge is gonna be going, and that makes neutral good again. But no, if I air dodge to the left, I air dodge to the left and stand there. If I air dodge down, I air dodge down and sit there. Never mind if I don't tank. If it if you 
air dodge too early when you're trying to attack. You ain't gonna sit there in the ground, uh, hovering right above the ground, and your opponent gonna come up and hit you with a fucking F smash. Great game design. All the air dodge to the right, that's fine. I'm right above the ledge, and my opponent's probably gonna try to spike me now because, like, you know, air dodge is very readable in this fucking game. Reactable, should I say? Because. Here, here's, here's something that you melee fucking idiots don't get. When everything's reactable, nothing's cool, right? Nothing's cool, I guarantee. You need an honest balance of reaction and reads in order to make the game cool. But with this game, every fucking thing is reactable. For instance, if you miss a tech, or, you can even kick and roll in a certain direction. But there are just some characters that are fast enough to punish you for it. For instance, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've spot teched and then Rando came up out of nowhere and grabbed me. Oh, what's that? He threw me again. I tech rolled out. Oh, he grabbed me again. He didn't read it. He just saw me fucking roll out and came and grabbed me again. Cause he's fast enough to do so. Fucking great. You fuckers are real. Or you should really, really be proud of yourselves. You should really be proud of yourselves about this shit. But this is crazy. It's egregious work. Oh. My personal favorite. The matchmaking. Oh, listen. Hear me out about this matchmaking shit. Hear me and hear me well. Why in the fuck? Why in the fuck? No, no, hold on, hold on. I'm finna, I'm finna check currently. I'm finna check currently. Because I need to, I need to see. How many fucking people are playing this game right now? Reload it. How many fucking people are playing this game? There are currently 1,400 people playing this game. Back when I was playing to record this video, which was way earlier today, oh, uh, yesterday, I mean, there was like 3,000 people playing. So you telling me I got matched up with the same bastard out of 3,000 people, I got matched up with the same fucking person four times in a row. What the fuck is that shit? Why do I get matched up with the same fucking dude if I execute? Like, why, why would I do that? And there's, there's even times where I've, I've tested the shit. I have counted to five and then uh, killed again. And I get matched up with the same dude again. I don't know what the fuck y'all were thinking. I don't know what the fuck y'all were thinking. You, like, you need to fix your matchmaking. That shit is crazy. I'm not saying that you're going to lose to the same dude that you just lost to. I'm not saying that you're going to win against the same dude that you just won against. What I'm saying is, with 3,000 fucking people on these servers at some point, you gotta fight some fucking body. You can't tell me that me and Jim Bob Joe over there are the only two in the fucking Atlanta servers. There gotta be some fucking body else, bro. Some goddamn body else on this pseudo dead ass game of yours. Oh, the next bullet point. I kind of cooked with this one. The PC cheaters. And yes, it's a real thing that these motherfuckers are hard pressed enough about trying to make ranked that they will, in fact, spike your ping. Because I ran into like eh, five, maybe six people on this occasion that I'd be winning the game at first. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they respawn, they stand there for a little while. And then after they stand there for a little while, my ping shoots to five fucking hundred and I can't play the game anymore. This is like that that shit has happened to me on multiple fucking occasions. This I'm I'm just blown about that shit. I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna let you motherfuckers fester. You can sit and rotate on that shit. I don't give a fuck, right? Okay, number seven. Every character in this game is Oh yeah! Every character in this game is fucking annoying. I hate my own character the fucking most. And that's insane. Dittos in this game are AIDS. They fucking suck. I can't stand Dittos. Because it's some egregious fucking work. Ain't nothing but a mash fest of everyone, uh, of both of you knowing your fucking kill mood and just throwing them out. And people are like, well, you should be able to win a Ditto. Shut the fuck up. That don't mean it's not annoying, dumbass. Can't win and don't like it are two different shits. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers are going to be coming at me with that shit. I don't want to fucking hear it. Right? 
Game's dog shit. I swear to fucking Jesus. Okay. Number eight. Yeah, it's, 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 for some odd fucking move, for some odd fucking reason, kill moves sometimes just combo into each other. The most obvious ones being fucking Red All and Zetterburn, who can combo fair into each other. The first fair is light, the second fair murders. And don't even get me started on Reno's fair in general. How do you have a fair that combos into itself, murders, and spikes? What the fuck were y'all thinking, bro? What were you thinking? Why did you think that was a good idea? What what card did you pull out of the fucking ethos? What, you, you believed in the harder cards too much? You pulled some bullshit. Who the fuck on your team? Which one of your fucking devs decided to design Reynolds Fair? Who did that? I need to know who Blood is. I gotta show up and waste his ass. On God. There's no way he can keep breathing after this. This is crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah. I must have really hated this shit earlier. Uh, my ninth bullet on cons just fucking says Claren for some odd reason. And holy shit, Claren. What? Listen. Listen, I know y'all are proud of your fucking game. As you should be. Because people were waiting on this sequel. And for the most part, y'all did some amazing things. I mean, for a certain part, y'all did some amazing things. But for the most part, y'all did not cook at all. And Claren is a good fucking pick. No one gives a fuck about Raster. No one cares about Maple. I don't give a fuck about Randall. I don't give a fuck about Zetter. Fuck lots of dot, Fleet. Or Kane. There he is. Fucking dog I hate. Fuck everybody else. Except Claren. What were y'all thinking? This bitch is marked on steroids. For most of the game, she just does what the fuck she wants. The amount of time I have to deal with this bitch doing baby step jab is insane to me. And then on top of that, since it's a jab... If you parry the shit, doesn't matter. If you shield it, she can just throw out another one. And if you get tempered from the jab, you're instantly getting combo. You get you getting put from zero to sixty easy as fuck with this character and her big ass, stupid ass, raunchy ass hitbox. These tippers are racist. There's no way y'all thought this was a good idea. I'm pretty sure me and a lot of people sent y'all fucking hate mail about, hey, y'all need to tweak Claren. Like during the during the fucking playtest shit. That that week of playtest. That week that y'all let us play early. I'm pretty sure y'all fucking we were telling y'all, hey, y'all need to tweak Claren. This bitch is kinda broken. And you motherfuckers did nothing? You did nothing. You did absolutely fucking nothing. Why? Why did you do this? Why? You heard the cries of the people, and you didn't give two fucks. Mm. You didn't give not a damn. I don't understand. <sighs> Fuck, man. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. Y'all are just some dumb fuckers. And a whole bunch, a whole bunch of this shit. I know the, I know the furries, the LGBT, and the fucking, um, and the fucking melee players are eating this shit up. Y'all are just fucking, nom, nom, nom with this shit, bro. Shut up, bro. This character is bullshit. I don't give a fuck about no other character in the game because for the most part, everyone else does what you expect them to do in the game. This bitch, you expect her to get tippered and get a little bit of damage off her, but you don't expect every fucking move to be a tipper strike. And there's time where this bitch hits me with Nair and nothing tippers except the last hit of it, comboing it into another Nair, Cowboying it into an F smash, and I immediately die at fucking 80. Oh, another thing. Ass melee DI. Why the fuck? What? Fucking sake. What is wrong with you bastards? Why y'all want to be melee so fucking bad, dude? You. Uh, holy shit. It just. Why the fuck do I gotta hold up when I'm being sent out? 
understand. I, that's dumb. Why do you got a fucking DI perpendicular? Why can't you fuckers just... Oh, oh, is it, why can't you fucking just do like Ultimate did? Fucking, oh, what, what, whatever way you got sent, just hold in that direction that you got sent from. You should be fine. But no, y'all want to be melee. You you riding melee dick for some fucking reason, bro. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, that, this, this, you can't tell me this shit ain't scripted. Y'all is fucking dumb. You're dumb. You're, you're stupid. You're smelly. Like, what are you doing? This shit is crazy, bro. And then the rest of it just kind of nitpicks about game modes and shit. But the new music is worse, except for Fleet. I'll give y'all that. Fleet was fired. I don't know who y'all got in the studio, but with Fleet, they fucking cook. All right. All the old school music was better besides Fleet. All right. All the old school shit was better. Every character theme, every stage fucking theme, except for the new ones, of course, because y'all kind of cook with them. But every fucking character theme and all the original stages that y'all brought from the first one or some shit. That music was fire, alright? But now y'all got new versions to all these stages because of the new character fucking shit. Um, the new character music or whatever. And let me say, let me just, let me just fucking tell you. Almost every fucking character theme new that y'all put in is ass. I fucking hate them shits. Every one of them. They're all shit compared to the, uh, the old school shit. How dare y'all fucking butcher Crag and fucking uh, Raster like that. Their shit is not that fire. What well, Raptors is actually good too. Raptors new shit is good too. But the majority of them are shit. I don't like those fucking things. I just don't. They're fucking ass. Oh, uh, I'm gonna shit on y'all for your game modes. Doubles, either with randoms or with friends, is ass. If two people matching is annoying as fuck, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen when four people start fucking matching? That's not fucking. That's not fucking fun. They're not great. They're not cool. I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing. Because what made y'all think? What made you think that I want to deal with not one, but two fucking genders at once? What made y'all fucking think that? If I remember correctly, I don't think you can actually pick two characters. But it's either way is bullshit. Either either fucking way. I'm I'm blowed in general over this shit okay free for all with randoms and with friends is lame as shit because like i said nothing cool happens it's still ass at least with at least with smash you can like turn items on or shit and get a chuckle out of killing somebody with a pokeball i mean killing somebody with a beast ball and a spike combo that's cool that's great it's fucking sick but in this game Everyone's mashing. Everyone's throwing shit. No one wants to approach. And keep in mind, this, this game is supposed to be a fast-paced game where everyone's trying to get in, right? No, everyone everyone just want to win the game at the end of the day. So everyone's just throwing shit. It's fucking lame. Don't like it. Fuck it. Every fucking moron, I'm guessing from the melee community because I see them motherfuckers do it the most. But every fucking idiot that I start beating the shit out of and I stand there starts fucking dash dancing I, I'm just standing there looking at them and they're just fucking dash dancing or something I know that ain't got nothing to do with uh, you devs but your player base is a whole bunch of retards it, like, it's, it's, what the fuck are y'all doing Y'all, you're running around like a rat stuck in a box right? and you're just waiting for your inevitable, uh, inevitable death for someone stomping the shit out your ass like why are you doing that can't, can't you come up with a little a little bit of smarts or something? Do something, goddamn. I see I see it happen the most when a projectile gets parried. Because they're like, oh my god, what I do? What I do? That's that. Oh, smash. They just die. Right? Uh, what's this one? Uh, some... Oh, yeah, like I say, with this game being as... As fast paced as it is, you would think people be trying to get in there and just throw hands. But if you go to a bigger stage, you somebody lose the first time and then they go to a bigger stage like the wall or 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 um fuck uh 
the Locked It On and Zetter stage, or fucking the pier or some shit. People are just gonna start camping again. And holy fucking shit, that is that man, that takes that takes my rage to a whole new fucking height because in a game like this, you tell me you still gonna try to cap your dick off, bro? Oh my god, that's so fucking lame. Oh, you lame. Fuck, man. Oh my god. And yeah, you can pair projectiles, which is cool, but there's some character that if you pair the projectiles, it just doesn't fucking matter. They're still gonna try to camp. Like, like fucking Rano. Rano 100%, if you parry a shuriken, that don't mean shit to him. He's just one fucking shuriken. He can still run around and do derpy shit all the fucking time. And it's real hard to catch his ass. Oh, uh, this one's just a nitpick. Like, in rank, you're forced to ban stages. I don't believe you should force me to ban stages. Because me personally, I don't even ban fucking stages. I don't care. You can go to uh, you can go to whatever stage you want. At the end of the day, you're gonna pick the stage. I don't give a fuck. We can fight. Go ahead. But why are you forcing me to ban? You're not that. You, you're not special. You're not that beat. Uh, uh, fucking uh, rival of Ether two. Like you don't force me to do anything. You shit. You garbage. Smash is still better than you. Why are you trying to force me to ban stages? Get a fucking life, idiot. Uh. Yeah, what else? Oh, uh, last but not least, none of the stages except for Fleet Stage and the rival Smash, a uh, 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 small battlefield clone, are really any fucking fun to play on. Like these stages are lame. Every other fucking stage is lame as shit to play on. Especially if we go to the fucking wall. These uh, oh my god, we made America great again, guys. Yeah, come on, get your shit on the wall. Looking ass. I'm, I, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. I ain't trying to hear none of it. How come whenever I ban the same two stages? I hate banning, but I have to ban, so I ban the same two stages. I ban I ban the battlefield stage and I ban the fucking pier. Cause why not? Cause why the fuck not, right? Tell me why whenever I ban them two stages, just because I fucking can, they immediately take me to the wall. And it's usually fucking Orcane. Because he's just gonna try to kill me off the side really easy with a back, uh, with, uh, with a special pummel to get to the puddle and then back throw me off ledge. You know, you know what the fuck this is. But it's 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 so ass. It's it's just so ass. I'm I'm being so serious, bro. Fuck this game. I've never been like I don't get mad at video games. That's my that's my thing. I don't get mad at video games. I've only ever gotten mad, especially in competitive games. I don't get mad at the game itself. I get angry at the fact that I do terrible. I've never once been mad at the game. I ain't never once been mad at my opponents. But this game fucking blows me. Like real bad. I hate this fucking game so much. This game gets an overall 4 out of 10. I'm a Division 1 head and I'm telling you, boy, they get a 4 out of 10 from me. Because fuck y'all. I'm so, I'm so blown about this shit. It's crazy. It's egregious work. But, yeah, I'm gonna reel it in now. I got everything I want to say off my chest. If you like this little fucking rant, please give me a follow and subscribe. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Right. Nope, what the fuck? This ain't me streaming? What the hell am I doing? Anyway, drop a subscribe, fuck it. I don't see why the fuck not. But, eh, seems like another job well done. For the one known as Nin Yoy.